electricity we use to power our homes and the gasoline we use to drive our cars usually comes from one source, fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are not renewable energy source. Non-renewable energy sources will not be around forever. Once we have used them all, they are all gone. These include coal, natural gas, and oil. Non-renewable resources are quickly vanishing, and we need to find another way to power our homes and cars. My name is Marcus Heron. I work at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, or NREL, in Golden, Colorado. NREL researches renewable energy and energy efficiency. So we look at ways to get better efficiency out of solar cells. We look at the structural integrity of wind turbines. Uh, we look at different batteries for plug-in cars, uh, different ways to build a building to make it uh, better hold in the heat or hold in the cool air when the summertime is. Uh, just a bunch of different things dealing with renewable energy and energy efficiency. I like it a lot because I like what we do. I like our mission, uh, talking about renewable energy. And I also like working with students, so it's a lot of fun. In the Unreal Cloud class, we learn about renewable energy. We have learned about wind energy, solar energy, geothermal, and biomass. We read books about renewable energy sources, and we do science experiments. We built wind turbines, solar cars, volcanoes, and lit a light bulb using a potato. We use a lot of energy in our homes, schools, businesses, and cars. Energy sources have different impacts or effects on the environment. Some of these include emissions, waste, and impacts on the land and water, like pollution. 84% of America's carbon dioxide emissions come from the use of coal and petroleum fuels. If you turn on a light, a 100 watt bulb, in your room and you leave it on for eight hours a day. At the end of the year, that, that light has used 70 pounds of coal, which is a lot of coal. So you think about, that's just one light in your house that uses that much coal. So you probably have 10 or, tw excuse me, 10 or 20 lights that are that big. So if you use 1,400 pounds of coal just for your one house, the house next door is doing the same thing and the house next door is doing the same thing. And someone has to go in the earth and dig that out and then someone has to burn that and all that smoke is going up through the air. Well, I wouldn't recommend starting out with putting solar panels on your roof, for example. I would recommend um, going with energy efficiency. So what I mean by that is turning off lights when you're not in the room, changing your lights from a regular what are called incandescent light bulbs, the ones that get really, really hot, to fluorescent light bulbs, which stay cool, and they use a lot less energy. And I don't mean just a little bit, I mean a lot less energy. Normal light bulbs use up a lot of energy, up to 60 watts. To save energy, you should replace your light bulbs with energy smart light bulbs. They only use up to 13 watts. Yes. Changing to energy smart bulbs can save you money. And they also last up to four years. These bulbs are easy to find in your local store. Gasoline and fuel are managing resources. Driving can waste too much fuel. You can bike certain places or you can walk certain places instead of having a car everywhere you need to go. Or maybe you take public transportation. Hey, yes, instead of using a car, we can use a scooter so we can get around. Yeah, and that way we won't waste a lot of fuel because it's a vanishing resource. Eventually we will run out of fossil fuels. There's different estimates on the amount of oil and coal we have left. Every time uh, you have less of something, there's more demand. So as the supply decreases and the demand increases, the cost is going to go up. We use energy for lights, TV, video games, cooking, cleaning, driving, and work. Until we can rely on renewable energy sources, we should try and conserve energy. This can include turning off the lights that you are not using. Unplugging cars when you're on un undone charging. Taking public tra transportation or biking. Oh. And turning off your TV. If we all did that, we really wouldn't need as much renewable energy because we wouldn't be using as much energy. Uh, but those are the things you can do right now, making sure if it's wintertime, closing the door when you walk in, keeping the door closed, making sure your windows aren't leaking, 
all the energy efficiency things are the best place to start. Um, and then finally, once you've done all those things, then you can start to look at renewable energy. Finding a way to rely on renewable energy sources will benefit us because it's non-polluting. It saves money in the long run. It is clean. It can never run out. Don't be mean, be green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Save energy!